A group of 50 hearing impaired users and women trained through Coca-Cola Beverage Africa's Sign of Success program has received certificates for completing their bamboo craft skills training in a graduation ceremony held at Friendship Hotel on May 24. The training, held for three months in partnership with Association for the Rehabilitation of Girls, included lessons on homeware as well as helping them become socially and economically self-reliant. During the ceremony, attended by CCBA management as well as federal government officials and Addis Ababa city administration representatives, the graduates were able to showcase their works that include crafts such as woven baskets and nightstands. A certificate awarding ceremony was also in the program with speeches from invited guests accompanying it. His Excellency Mr. Nugusut Lahun, State Minister for Ministry of Labor and Skills, congratulated the trainees in their accomplishments, applauding their effort for self-reliance despite the shortcomings they may have had in their lives. He continued to add his ministry is focused on giving the citizens of the country the skills and the mindset to impact the economy through their work and his belief that those that graduated from this program can in fact impact those around them in many more with the top level skill that they have learned. It was announced during the ceremony the Addis Ababa city administration has provided shades for the graduates to continue their works and give access to their products in the market. CCBA's managing director, Daryl Wilson, for his part stated the company has used its industry leadership to be part of the solution in order to achieve positive change in the world and to build a more sustainable future for the planet. African Renaissance Television Services caught up with the managing director after the event in which he shared his thoughts on the program as well as collaborations with NGOs and governmental agencies. Yeah, well, we, we're very, very proud of this event. We're also very proud of everything we've done over the 62 years in, in, in Ethiopia, uh, particularly providing job opportunities. And what's more exciting about this is people providing job opportunities for people that are really struggling. I mean, for, to, for, to have a job is a difficult thing anyway in Ethiopia. To have a job when you've got a disability is even harder. So we're very happy with this. We think we're going to continue to work with the team, continue to grow this. This was the first cohort that we've, we've supported. We want to do more of this across the country, not only in Addis. And we also want to look at, you know, giving opportunities for other people with other disabilities. Uh, so, yeah, I think watch this space. There's going to be a lot more interesting things and a lot more creative things that we're going to provide the community that we, that we work in around job creation. We're working with a number around a number of new opportunities. I can't announce them now because they're not finalized, but we're looking at other opportunities. This is just hearing impaired, as you rightly point out, but there are many, many opportunities and many NGOs are doing such great work and we'd love to partner with them and just not partner them on a once-off basis, partner them on a continual basis to continue to grow this into something which is remarkable, something that CCBA Ethiopia will be and we are very proud of what we've done so far, but I think we've just started. Yeah, look, we need partners. There's no ways that we as corporate or private sector could do it on our own. And it's great to have all the government support, both from the local administration, also from the, from the government itself. And I think when the three of us work together, it's amazing what we can do. We'd also like to, you know, challenge other private enterprises in Ethiopia to do the same. Because once again, if we scale this and everybody works together, this thing can become extremely big, providing a meaningful employment to people that have got disabilities.